going to show you what I have learned so far in Inkscape in regards to making an image into an SVG. Uh, if you haven't seen some of my prior videos, I really enjoy lately making um, characters, um, mostly off the mat characters, either 24 inches or 30 inches. And most of the time I purchase SVGs from Etsy, but I thought I would give a try at making my own instead of having to purchase all of these individually. So, um, disclaimer, I'm fairly new at this. I'm sure that other people have much better ways, quicker ways, more efficient ways of doing things, but I just thought that I would go ahead and share with you what I know. And if you have been intimidated by Inkscape, uh, rest assured, I was intimidated as well, but um, watched a few videos um, and thought I'd give it a try. So just going to share with you what I know. So found this image of Tinkerbell that I'm going to try. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and save that to my folder. And I'm going to go to Inkscape. Um, when downloading Inkscape, make sure that you're downloading it from, I believe it is Inkscape.org. Um, be careful where you're downloading it from. Of course, you want to make sure you're getting the true Inkscape. Okay, so here's our image. I'm going to zoom out just a tad. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure your image is selected and go up here to Path, Trace Bitmap. I'm going to change my scans because I was previously doing a colored image. I'm going to hit Update. Then we're going to close that box. Our image should be here on top. Right there it is. So I'm going to get rid of the first image. We don't need that one anymore. Okay, so this one that we just made, I am going to make sure it's selected. Go up here to Object, Ungroup. Object and group, and then path break apart. There we go, break apart. You can see it turns it all black. That's what you want. I'm going to click off and take my black layer, and we're going to go ahead and layer our colors on top of the black layer. So, and we're going to use these colors down here in the paint box. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick her arms here and change them to a skin tone. Bring them to the front and drag them over here. Next thing I'm going to do is, I forgot to do this initially, is take this and bring this all to the front. And then you don't have to do that every single time. So let's take our hand here, do the same. Okay, and we're gonna take her hair. We know Tinkerbell has blonde hair. Let's take her wings. I can't remember what color her wings are, but I'm just going to make them like a light gray for right now. Then one thing you can do is also bring up like a colored image for reference um, if you wanted to, but really uh, the colors don't much matter. It's just, uh, you know, this is in order to get your colors separated. Now for the face. Um, well, here, let's do her hair ties quickly. Oops. Actually, don't need that um, layer, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, there's her hair ties. Okay, so for her face, what I like to do is select her face. 
and it's going to show you everywhere where she has her eyes, nose, mouth, any cutouts for those. I go ahead and change them to just any color that'll, that you can see on top of the black and bring them to the front. Okay, now you can see those behind there. I'm going to then select her mouth, her nose, her eye, her eyebrow, just right here in her um, ear. This over here already has the cutout, so you don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to select her eye. I'm going to go up here, or her face, excuse me. I'm going to do path and exclusion. That, as you can see, is going to cut out those um, cutouts that you need for her eyes and mouth. Then I'm going to match that to the color of her arms that we picked and move that over. Now for her eyes and lips, I'm going to go ahead and okay, so this and this is the whites to her eyes. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. This and this are the whites to her eyes. Let's go ahead and move those over there, change on the white. And everything here we don't need. Now let's just go ahead and see how she looks in design space. I'm going to fit her on here and go ahead and go up to file, save as, Tinkerbell SVG. Make sure you're saving it as a plain SVG. she is. And you can see over here on the side is all of her cut pieces. Now if we wanted to make her 30 inches, we would change her size, zoom out, ungroup her, and here are our pieces. Our black background and all the pieces that we would need to cut. I hope you got uh, some information from this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did or if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks, you guys.